Hello everybody, Jason here. I just got back from um, Freedom Night in America, which was really, really cool thing that my church does. And we have uh, people come and they speak. Uh, today's speaker was a guy named Josh Hawley, and he actually wrote a book. It's pretty cool. Um, I was able to meet him in person, shook his hand and all that. Um, before today, I never really heard of the guy, which, you know... I hear he's the state senator from Missouri, so that's pretty cool and all. I definitely liked his message. He spoke for like an hour and a half. Um, did even did questions and answers from the audience. It was a really good thing. Um, as a conservative type event, they had a whole bunch of really cool buttons they were handing out. Um, this one is one of my favorites. Gun control isn't about guns. It's about control. Um... I definitely did like this one, which they had in blue and in red. Um, it just basically says proud, bold, free. So, um, you like that? You know, being a computer tech, I really like this button. Uh, small tech, this is the way. So, um, and I, I guess it's the antonym of big tech, but you know, we are a small little tech company. So, I do like that. I'm. You know, I do think big tech has gotten a little bit out of control, but, you know, I don't think it's as evil as everybody's saying it is. Um, well, I'm not, you know, maybe some companies, but the certain companies that they had talked about is all good. This one, uh, you know, much more just generic 2A, the right to bear and keep our right to keep and bear arms. Uh, let's see what other ones we got here. This one I thought was really cool. Uh, free thinking is a superpower. So anyway, when you go to these events, they do give you a lot of really good, nice buttons. Um, this one here, America runs on patriotism. Of course, with the uh, Dunkin' Donuts colors and font. So anyway, I was thinking about a lot of things today. And, you know, this year has not turned out at all how I expected it to, to go. You know, I thought this was going to be another year of just grinding, working hard on my computer business. And things have really taken a turn for the better. And a lot of that is because, you know, I joined this uh, coaching program, uh, you know, and that really, you know, opened my eyes to a lot of things. I also, you know, they started sharing books. I decided that, you know, I'm going to go... And read a lot more. I haven't been reading that much the last couple of years. You know, I read a little bit of fiction. Um, uh, Ready Player One, Ready Player Two, that type of stuff. You know, read a few other books. Uh, like, you know, a, lot, a few Christian books. There's one, um, you know, uh, Multiply by X, that one, John Revered. That's a very powerful book right there. But anyway, started taking a coaching class from this guy right here. Um... Nicholas Trevelyan, his part, his uh, partner is Jason Von Payne. They're both really cool guys, um, but he actually wrote this book, and uh, Scale: Eight Phases to Building an Eight Figure Business. Um, they are giving away free copies of this book, and I am going to put the link. Uh, probably not, not right when I upload this video. They're going to give me a personalized link, and I'm going to put that link. Um, in the description for this video and you can get a copy of this book for free and part of this book is it is literally life-changing it has a lot of you know things that you know I've been in business for 25 years I have a degree in business and this is still things that I didn't really understand and um, these are things that you know you really want to build it has a whole section about building sales funnels lead follow-up um, and, and it's all about how to scale your business. Take your business from whatever you're doing now and make it five, ten times bigger, which is exactly what we want to do. The interesting thing is Nikki, Nikki T, that's his you know, real name right here, but he kept saying that I should write a book. You know, and I, I've always passed that off as, you know, I don't need to write a book. I don't really have anything important to say, you know, and... Um, I, you know, I do feel I do have some important stuff to say, but the problem I feel with books is you need to be able to say it better. You know, there, there can't be another book out there that already does a better job at the book that you're trying to write. You know, I don't think anybody does a better job at scale. Um, the, you know, the, the, of the books I've read, you know, I've read quite, and, and you know, 
I think this is a really, really good book. I don't think there's that many books about that. So I decided to go out, and with his advice, I actually wrote a really thin book. It's right there. So this is the first book I've ever written, um, Jason Dragon. This is the rough draft. It actually has this little bar on here from Amazon saying not for sale. Um, but after receiving this rough draft, I went through and made you know a lot of modifications, made it 20 pages longer, 22 pages longer. Uh, very, very happy to do so. And it is now live on Amazon. I will be putting the link to that book in the description also. Um, but it's also interesting, you know, I'm meeting authors all the time. So, of course, I've met Nikki T multiple times and I have his book, you know, just met the Josh Hawley guy. And this weekend we met uh, another really interesting author, Lloyda Lewis. And she also signed the book for us. And, uh, you know, she had a really good story, uh, you know, how she was a, you know, pretty wealthy growing up in the Philippines, was being groomed to run for politics and be a bigwig in the Philippines and ended up marrying a guy from New York who happened to be one of the richest, as she calls it, one of the richest black people in America. And when he died, his, uh, he actually died, I, I forget what. I think cancer is what he she said and when he died you know he had a billion dollar plus empire and she took it over and that's what that book's about it's uh, in the love story and also about business and hostile takeovers uh, other books i'm reading right now definitely like this book sell like crazy sabri subi i'm gonna put the link to this one in the in the end i do have a, a an amazon page where i share all the books that i'm currently reading and if you go to that Amazon link, you can click there. And also, in addition to having all the <clears throat> books that I currently read, it has all the tech that I kind of use. Um, you know, the, not all the tech, but quite a bit of the tech. Like, I don't have this game controller on there. Though I should put the game controller on because I love that game controller. Um, but, you know, that's another really good book. Another book that I'm reading right now, $100 million leads. Alex Hermosi. I also have $100 million offers right there behind me. And, um, you know, so with all these books and everything going on, it's definitely a, you know, an, an adventure. And part of the adventure, and part of it became very, very crystal clear that the secret to being successful on the internet right now in 2023 is to build high quality funnels and operate them. You know, there's hardly anybody doing marketing or doing sales on the internet that isn't building high quality funnels, unless you're just selling stuff on Amazon. I mean, I guess you could do that without doing high quality funnels. So that's what this pretty much this whole book is about is about funnels. You know, there's a good chapter and a half, two chapters in this book about funnels. Um, almost all of this book is about funnels. Um, so I decided to go out and figure out what, you know, what funnel software is there. And after looking at, you know, ClickFunnels and reading the horror stories of how difficult it is for so many people. And I tried this other program called Kajabi and I, I thought that was pretty good. Um, but then I stumbled across another program and it was called High Level. And High Level had something very, very interesting. They had it where I could, for you know, a pretty substantial fee, I could basically open up my own High Level franchise, my own agency, and not only have 100% access to everything that they produce, but that I could actually package up their stuff and resell it. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm taking the plan that they have that's literally like $300 a month and giving that, giving a better plan for less money. And I'm taking their plan that's like 200 something dollars a month, throwing in a whole bunch of extra features and giving that away for $97 a month. And for the first few people, I'm actually going through and, um, you know, giving it away, you know, doing all my effort for free just to set it up for them and just see how it works. And I've used it already, uh, building jasondragon.com. I've built the entire website for my book funnel, which uh, let me explain the book funnel to you right now. So we have the lease guide, which is the entrepreneur's guide to how to do a commercial lease because so many people get screwed by their landlords when they write through their commercial lease. So what this guide does is it basically tells you all the little pitfalls and so that you have, 
you know, some tools to fight against the 800 pound gorilla, which is their, you know, very experienced professional agent that works for the landlord who might have 20 years of experience and he knows all the tricks in the trade and you're coming in with absolutely no knowledge of even how it works. So this gives you the basic knowledge so that you know what to ask for in a lease. Um, like, you know, just, it also tells you what the different types of leases are. Um, you know, what you want to offer. Let me just read one little part right here. So one thing that, well, let's see, most people know about that. Like, well, here, this is one of the things that's very important. HVAC cap. Let me see if I can get the book to show up. And what this is about, and this is something, I'll just give you a quick little tip. You know, one page on here is this is a book where you can read that and go, hey, you know, I have an HVAC. What's the cap? So the cap is... If you, if you go in and you get a lease with from your you know from their agent, they're never gonna give you a cap. They're never even gonna tell you that it's an option or a possibility. But yet every single time I've ever helped anybody get a commercial lease, I've always put a clause in their commercial lease about an HVAC cap. And what that basically means is that you know if the air conditioner heater goes out during the term of the lease, the tenant you know has like a five hundred dollar responsibility you know, maybe a three hundred dollar responsibility so that you know uh, to fix that but everything above that is the landlord's responsibility for any repairs to the H -H HVAC system so if the air conditioner completely takes a crap um guess what the landlord's paying eight grand you're paying 500 now if you don't read this book and you don't know about that and you sign a lease, and a year later your AC goes out, guess who's paying all of it? You are, the entrepreneur. So that's just one little tidbit in this book. On that chapter alone, there's 17 tidbits that will save you tons of money. Some of them even more money than the HVAC one. There are, and that's just one chapter, uh, chapter five. If you were to go through and read this whole book, it's going to save you a ton of money. And what I'm going to do, because you're watching this video and you stuck through it, however many minutes we're into this video, I'm going to give you the book for free. Just go to theleaseguide.com slash book. You go there right now, you get the book for free. It's only going to be a PDF copy. If you want the paper copy, go on Amazon. It's like 20 bucks. Uh, free shipping. Um, I do have it. I'll put the link for Amazon and I'll put the link for the free book, the free downloadable book right here. Anyway, that's about it. This is going to be a great year. Um, I did, let me finish the story about that. So I did create my own um, agency and I've learned about how to do all these cool tricks building funnels. And it's been like a roller coaster trip. It was a little bit of a learning curve at the beginning. Um, I spent, gosh, 30 hours <laughs> doing Zoom calls with their tech support. And I'm to the point now where I think I'm pretty good at it. And I can navigate their system and set it all up. So if your business needs a funnel, you need a CRM software, you need something how to do all that, go to dfypromotions.com. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the bottom, of, in the comments of this, of this uh, video also. So um, with all of that um, resources, lots of links, lots of stuff, thanks for watching the video. Um, first Wednesday of every month is the Freedom Night in America. Um, Get this book if you haven't got it already. It's very, very good. Go and get a free copy of this book, a digital one. Um, go get a free copy of my book. And if you're raising young men, uh, this book called Manhood, it's about, you know, how it's very important for men to take charge and to, to get this country back in order. We're, 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 we've swung the pendulum way to the side of being... A very feminine country and we need to reverse that we need some big burly strong men um, you're already seeing it happen uh, this is the most conservative generation of youth that have happened in probably 70 years <clears throat> since the 1950s that's the last time a generation of youth was this conservative 
Um, you're getting the big burly men that are growing the beards. I'm not somebody who's ever going to grow a beard. I cannot deal with the itchy, itchy, not growing a beard. Um, so I, I can't even go more than like five days without shaving it, which I actually did this morning, but it's it grows pretty quickly, so it's back there. I had a beard once. It was like this big, and, you know, it was bright red, just like Nikki T. <laughs> so um, that's it. It's a great year for books and reading it all. I also am just starting the Average Sucks book. Uh, Michael Burnoff, he wrote that. It's a pretty interesting book, too. So, uh, long reading list. Uh, I have rearranged my budget of um, time, where I'm spending 90 minutes or so almost every day reading books. So, that's our video. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Um, that's what everybody always says. We're trying to build up an audience. Uh, it's We had a big, nice audience a few years ago, and I kind of stopped posting. So that went down. Um, let me know if I can do anything to help you guys out. Thanks.